Have you ever been working on your computer and just couldn't bear the heat? Well, look no further because on today's episode, we're going to show you how to make your very own USB powered fan. The two things you're going to need for this project is a spare USB cable and a computer fan that looks like this. The first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and take that spare USB cable you have lying around and snip it down so that you can give yourself as much wire as possible. Now we're going to go ahead and take some scissors and gently cut around the wire. As you're cutting, you're going to want to make sure that you don't cut through the wire, but rather just get rid of the outer layer. I'm having trouble getting mine off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this razor blade here and just slide it up the rubber part so that it'll peel off. Now that we have that line cut from the razor blade, as you can see, we can just pull on it and it'll peel right off. Now that we're inside of it, I can see four wires and a metal wrapping around it. What I'm going to do is remove all the metal wrapping, but still leave it around, just remove it all from the wires so I can get into the wiring. Now that we have access to these four wires, let's go ahead and strip them. All right, so now I've plugged in the USB and let's identify which pins are which. Let's first test out the red wire and the black wire. So we can see the voltage across the red to black is 5.12 volts. Let's now test the white and the green wire and we get 0.58 volts. Now let's test this little metal fraying stuff along with the red wire. I assume the metal fraying stuff is just going to be ground along with black. Yep, and so we get the exact same reading. So that means that this black wire or this metal fraying stuff can be used. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and snip off this metal fray. And I'm just going to worry about this black wire. Now let's go ahead and take the fan. Now that we have the fan, let's go ahead and cut this terminal bridge off. Once again, let's go ahead and strip these wires. Let's go ahead and connect black to black, and then we'll connect our yellow to our red. We're just going to give it a short tap to see if it gives us any feedback. And tapping them together. As you can see, the fan is spinning a bit. Since we found out that the black and yellow wire were connected directly to the motor, that means the other two must be the hole sensor for the fan. So, after trial and error, connecting up the green to the white wire on the USB and the blue to the green wire on the USB gives me a steady flowing fan. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and make it a little bit more permanent. Go ahead and solder these wires together. And there we go. Now I'm going to take small strips of electrical tape and wrap them around each of the wires. Now that we have all these covered up, what we're going to do is go ahead and wrap all of this wire in electrical tape. There we go. Now I'm going to add another strip of electrical tape on the beginning and the end of the project. Let's go ahead and test if this works on a computer. You can easily attach this project to your computer with a few of these alligator clips. As you can see, when you insert the USB into your computer slot, the fan will come alive. As you can see, it works beautifully. This will be sure to keep you nice and cool as you use your computer. And while you're on your computer, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, go ahead and subscribe so you'll see our weekly videos come up inside your newsfeed. Thank you so much for watching the video and have a wonderful day.